We're gonna clean out some Honda transmission solenoids. So obviously take it out of the car, 310 millimeters. Take the screen off with the O-rings. Clean that really good. Spray the clean, uh, you know, brake clean or whatever you're gonna use really good. Dry it off. You don't want to swell the uh, O-rings or anything. So make sure you clean it and dry the O-rings. Now we're here. So here we're gonna ground. We got a jump box grounding the unit, and then we got here we got the two different plugs. So each one of these plugs is going to get a positive. And what we did to get the positive, we got the other end of the jumper cable here, and we took a speaker end and we cut it, so we only had half. And that slides over. That slides over this little groove, and it will click. So I'm going to click it and then spray the crap out of it. So I'm going to click it, which is going to open this valve. Spray in here, spray in here while it's open. And um, we'll figure out which, which side it is by spraying it. Pretty sure it's this side, but don't know. But anyway, we're going to plug it in, like I said, and click it. So I'm going to give you a top view here. Hopefully this works. Got something set up for you. All right. Hopefully that's a good view for you. So, like I said, come over here, take the positive, listen, you hear that click? So they're both working, they're just not, they're just not working good enough. We're not shifting right. So, I'm going to come over here, you can use carbon choke, or whatever you want. See, that's that one, so look, I'm going to go both ways with it. Obviously, this isn't this side. Obviously, I want to show you. Only one side works each plug. So you might want to, a couple times, take it off and on and do it. Just because there might be gunk, like, you know, around the edge. You want to get it in there. We'll be moving the junk around. And we're going to plug back in. And hopefully, for our sake, we're cleaning it out. We need that flow. We need that flow. So hopefully this helps somebody not have to spend $250. I mean, because that's showing me that it's working. And if it works, what? Then it's something else in the trans. So we did that side. Now we're going to click the other side. And you hear it. You hear it working. So again, come in here. Ooh, see that? That was some nasty crap in there. Give it, give it a good flow. Let it, let it flow. Same thing here. Back flow. And like I said, undo it. Hit it both. Hit it again. It's obviously not going to come out. And then hit it again at the top. And then one more time, I'm going to click it in. You hear the clicks actually sound better now. You think I'm crazy? Listen to the beginning of the video. It wasn't as solid of a click. It was more like a dump. So I know that solenoid's good and I know it's working. So if I do this to both solenoids in this trans and it doesn't fix it, guess what? You got different problems. But there's how to clean out a solenoid on a Honda transmission. Here's the solenoid. There's two different ones and the way you tell is by the plug if you're going to have to order them online. There's the one we're going to, we just clean this one. This one happens to be the top on a 93 Honda Civic. But this goes for any of these style solenoids on transmissions. They like to clog up, and that's when they stop working. And like I said, I cleaned and dried and ready to rock and rolled the uh, O-rings earlier. I'm going to stick them back in place. You can order these online new. I think I saw them on Amazon for $27. Bucks, but we're going to stick this back on and try it. If it leaks, then maybe I'll order them. But until then, that's what we got. Good luck. Hope this helps somebody. Subscribe to my page. Like this video.